What's up? So, as many of you may know, uh, filming with these cameras is amazing. Great picture. I love this camera, dream camera of mine, whatever. Everybody who films on P2 knows how much of a hassle it is uh, not being able to use all of the nice things that modern cameras have, like SD cards, being able to offload files on the go, uh, having to bring a laptop with you, things like that. Um, or maybe some of you have only like one 16 gigabyte card. Um, you can only film so many clips and you have to go home, offload your footage. Uh, it's a hassle. Well, I found out a way that hopefully is going to help a lot of you um, by being able to offload P2 files onto a regular iPhone or an iPad. Uh, and it's using these lightning mail to Apple calls it uh, a camera adapter. Um, it's like other places called an OTG on the go adapter. Um, this one that I have is a knockoff that I got on Amazon for 10 bucks. Um, I do very much recommend going with the, the real Apple branded one. I think they're like 30 or 40 bucks, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, it's going to save you some headaches, uh, that these, um, cheapo ones may give you this one that i've been using has been pretty nice to me so far but i've had one in the past that would just stop uploading halfway through um transferring files sometimes so pretty big headache uh the other thing um that i've noticed with these is you have to try to keep your files pretty small so like if you have a longer clip um, try to isolate that clip and just upload it one at a time. Um, there's ways to move clips between cards in the camera. So if you have an empty card, you know, just move one, one clip over at a time. Uh, another thing that's going to save you a headache is if you have P2, two P2 cards in at one time, uh, sometimes the iPhone will mix them up somehow. So I recommend just having one card in at a time while you're doing this transfer process. Um, this card is empty right now anyway. So what we're going to do is using the iPhone camera adapter, we're going to plug it into our USB micro or USB 2.0 you're the one that you use for your camera you know what I'm talking about um, so we're gonna go into our camera and then what I also do I've noticed that it speeds up transfer quite a bit is plugging the extra lightning port for charging into like a portable battery pack or something uh, just when you're on the go you can plug it into the wall as well it works um, but then you're going to go into your camera, uh, do all the regular stuff, uh, get into USB transfer mode. And then from here, you're ready to plug this into your iPhone. And now I'm going to switch over to my iPhone screen recording. Once you have your lightning cable connected into your iPhone, you're going to want to go into the Files app on your iPhone, um, and then go ahead and wait for your new drives to show up. Uh, whenever they show up, they're going to come up as two unknown drives. There they are, uh, two no-name drives uh, if you have both your P2 cards in. Uh, if you only have one card in, it's just going to show up with one. So you're going to go in and you're going to make sure you're in the right P2 card and then go ahead and do the same thing you would do on the computer. Uh, go in and select both of the folders and copy those. 
once you have those two folders copied, uh, you're going to want to go back onto the main menu there and go to On My iPhone if you want to transfer them straight to your iPhone or go to the iCloud if you want to go to the iCloud. Um, so go to On My iPhone and then make a new folder for these files. I think I just called mine HPX. There we go. Go into that folder and then hit paste and then just wait for your files to transfer over and once they are done there we go uh, go ahead and go into the contents folder and make sure that everything transferred over okay uh, and then after that you're done uh, you can do whatever you want you can format your p2 card keep on filming um, what I do usually once I'm done, I just turn the camera off and then after my camera is off, then I'll disconnect everything. Um, we'll go in there one more time, just make sure everything's good. Unfortunately on the iPhone, you can't play MXF files. Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. Uh, if anybody wants to comment, uh, letting me know that they figured it out. Um, thanks for checking out the video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.